Okay, so it's day two. I just have a feeling. Don't know. Don't know if it's over excitement. I don't know if it's me just getting impatient. Yeah, puppy, I know. Hi. But I have a feeling. Might not be today. But it's, it's, I feel like it's coming up. But I have to get Coda groomed. I put on my riding boots just, just in case. And I have my breeches on just in case. I have my helmet out just in case. And my body protector just in case. So the only thing is, if I do try to lay over Coda's back, because I don't think I'd get fully on. Um, but who knows? I have this, this, this food bag. And I don't want it to get in the way. But I also want to be able to give him a high value reward. As you saw, I was using a lot of food in yesterday's clip. Maybe too much food. I don't know. But usually I get really excited and I just give him food. But I also don't know what kind of experience he had previously. And I want to make sure it's as positive as one as possible. Um, eventually, I'll kind of dwindle down on how much food I give him. Um, make him wait longer durations between feedings. But... Right now, this is just what I'm doing. I'll probably look back and be like, oh, what the heck is she doing? But at least that means I've learned. <laughs> yeah, I need to get Coda. We need to get him groomed. So these boots, I've not broken in yet. So I might not wear them. I might take them off, but they're the only thing I have with heels. So I might just tough it out. So I really like these boots, the Ariats. And my mom got them for me, which is awesome, but they are not broken in yet, so I kind of walking around stiff legged. But I'm gonna go get Coda. Forgot to record, got him tacked up. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're continuing on what we did last week. Um, this is actually the day two of messing around with the saddle on Coda. And yeah, we're gonna continue some of the same sort of things we did in last week's video. We are going to kind of slap the saddle around, slap the stirrups around. I'm going to jump on either side of Coda, not jump on his back, but just kind of jump and see how he reacts. I'll be rewarding him for any good behaviors, which you'll notice throughout this video, it's all just good behaviors. He does perfectly. He is very good. Um, if you were to have some sort of extreme reaction, I wouldn't reward that. Instead, I would kind of just talk him through it and work him through it. And desensitize him to whatever sort of extreme reaction or whatever was so scary or so stressful. But the goal in all of this is to try to avoid completely overwhelming me or Coda and just take it day by day and just have some fun with it. We're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. We've already waited over a year. So we're just gonna, you know, mess around and see where this takes us. Uh, we're going to continue messing with the saddle probably with in the next, you know, videos on this channel. I don't know specifically what we'll do, but I never really know what we're going to do. I, I really just go off of what I feel like and what he's feeling like. So, or what he has to do. So, like his feet. We kind of just had to tough that one out. Neither of us wanted to do it. And now it's one of our favorite things to do. So, anyways. By the end of this uh, video, you'll see that um, Coda did so well and I was so, so happy that I seem to have lost my teeth. I really, I, I really want to know where they went, <laughs> but you know, there you go. So stay tuned till the end of today's video. It'll be quite exciting. Now, the reason why I have the background audio cut out is because I've been playing music in these sessions because I'd rather have something kind of nice in the background and just listen to some music to kind of chill out because this can be quite, this, what I'm um, stepping towards is eventually getting on Coda and I want to make sure I create the best atmosphere for the both of us as possible. So not thinking about the fact that there is a video recording or anything like that and just playing music and creating that environment is really important to me. You're not missing out anything on the audio, just a lot of squealy good boys. A lot of, a lot of squeals because apparently I like to squeal a lot. I, I don't know where that came from. I don't appreciate the squealing, but <laughs> Koto recognizes it as him doing really well. So I can't complain. So I did unfortunately miss the uh, tacking up part of the process. It went really smoothly. No problems, no 
no issues whatsoever. Coda seems to have no issues with tacking up. Um, the first thing I do after I get him tacked up is I walk him around to make sure everything sits right, to make sure he doesn't feel like bucking because something's uncomfortable or anything like that. I want to see kind of his reaction. So usually he kind of tenses up when he starts walking, but it's been a long time and he's not all that tense. I mean, you'll see that in the video um, at some point he'll probably drop. He always drops, but I want to make sure he kind of feels the saddle on his back, that there's nothing, nothing off and that he can kind of just get comfortable and get it to sit in the right place. And then once he moves around a little bit, I'll also check to see how tight the girth is if I need to put it up another hole or not. That way, if he does decide, I'm going to go frolicking around that I want his saddle to stay on his back. I don't want it to go anywhere. So what I'm doing right now in the video is taking his lead rope from his halter and tying it back to itself to kind of make some makeshift reins because when I do start riding Coda, I want to start him in the rope halter and work our way up to a uh, bridle. I want to just, I don't know why, I just, I I'm pretty sure I have a reason to why, but I can't think of what the reason is to why at the moment, but that's just what I feel called to do, so that's what I'm doing. So, what you can't see very well right now is I'm actually beginning to introduce my weight to Coda's back. First, I put some weight into the stirrups with the palms of my hands to kind of shift the saddle around, and then I moved to leaning on Coda and putting my hands across his back and neck to give him scratches, as you can see. Obviously, he was a racehorse, so he's not totally new to this, but again, I don't know what his experience was, and it's been three years since he's done anything. So my goal is to see how he feels and reintroduce this to him as a relaxed and positive experience. So I did just want to kind of include this in here where I kind of walked away from the step stool. I forgot what I was doing here, but then I got distracted by cleaning up some things at some point. And I just thought this was really cute how he followed me around during this. So I just wanted to include those clips so you guys can enjoy that too. Okay, so here's what I'm doing here. Um, I forgot that I did this, but I was looking for other alternatives besides the step stool to use as a possible mounting block, just because I'm used to a pretty tall mounting block to get on the horses and I didn't want to put my weight into the stirrups and pull on Coda's back and it to be uncomfortable, but the chair, I was like, this is too dangerous. I could get caught in this chair. He could get caught in this chair. We're not gonna do that. Um, you'll kind of see me sit here and look at this and be like, uh, I don't know about that. Um, so yeah, there's just, I just started experimenting a little bit, trying to see if I liked any of these options, but they were all questionable and dangerous, so don't, don't do this. Um, yeah, I look a little lost on the chair, don't I? <laughs> So at this point, I move my chair away and just decide to stick to the step stool because the chair was an accident waiting to happen. Um, I continue to work on putting my weight on Coda's back and slowly increase it until I finally get my foot into a stirrup, which is just so exciting, like really, really exciting uh, because at that point I'm putting my body weight on him on one side of him, so I'm sure it's not the most comfortable, but I was super impressed with how Coda did. The only thing is, uh, 
part of my brain was kind of like, hmm, this seems like an accident, a bad accident waiting to happen because my boots not being broken in made it hard for me to bend my legs and get them out of the stirrup. Plus, I don't think I've ever ridden in new stirrups and those things or these boots or both <laughs> are very grippy. And my, my foot was just kept getting stuck on the stirrup. So as you'll see, I'll constantly be pulling my foot out of the stirrup a bit awkwardly. Um, these are my first pair of riding boots, so I don't know if it's the grip on them or the grip on the stirrups or if it is due to both. But Coda was incredibly well behaved and so patient during my awkward climbing in and out of the stirrups. So it actually ended up being a really great training exercise, probably for the both of us, really. I kept panicking because I wanted to reward him quickly and make sure he knew he was doing awesome. But I'm pretty sure he was very well aware and I'm pretty sure during all of this... Uh, he was the one taking care of me. <laughs> so I'm sure you can tell by my body language during this video, but I was obviously very, very excited and just like ecstatic that any of this was happening. And uh, I actually had to give myself a little bit of a break because I was just like through the roof excited that I didn't want to freak him out. But clearly, uh, I don't think he could care less. So uh, things were going really well and they continued to do really well. So yeah. Something's going on in the shadows There's a dark song about losing someone Everything is wrong right among us Desperate voices whisper help us Trees and birds and flowers hurt And we must run to the rescue Love can tear us apart There's good in the heart of everyone Love is all that we got There's good in the heart of everyone So at this point, you'll see me kind of walk off camera and bring back another step stool to try. And I also say no to that one because again, the just risk of getting caught isn't worth it. But the reason why I keep dragging these random items out is because I know in my heart that it's time for me to try to sit on Coda. I feel like he's just, he was just telling me like, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's do it. And <laughs> I was procrastinating. I didn't want to do anything wrong. I didn't want to, you know, hurt him somehow. I don't know. So I was in a bit of a panic, but eventually I kind of broke through and just ripped off the band-aid. So I'm going to wrap up the video here before I start crying again. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys see me intact Coda so you can kind of see his reaction to that. Um, as you can tell in the video, it was in a bit of a, a bit of a like just over, just, just really excited sort of thing. My body just, I didn't know how to react. I well, obviously was reacting, but I was definitely trying not to cry on camera because I didn't want to do that. But I, I don't know, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Goodbye.
turn this off. Take it real.